Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. The pipeline is as unmistakable as it is unconventional. Australia to Moraga, 7,500 miles from down under to high above the East Bay. The evolution of the Australian pipeline is kind of a fluke. I didn't know anything about Australia. I'd never been there. And there's a kid over there that wanted to come over here and play college basketball. Coach Bennett called me one day, and within a couple of weeks, school had already started. Within a couple of weeks, I was here. Didn't visit, didn't do anything like that. So we took a gamble. He started his first two years for us, and he was a good player. Through him, we ended up getting the next one. The floodgates kind of opened after that. Did they ever? That next one was Daniel Kicker, who became the Gales' all-time leading scorer. Down the line came Patty Mills, now in the NBA. Ben Allen, standout from last year's Sweet 16 team, and of course, the current crew. A decade later, the Aussie influence has progressed from endearing basketball subplot to bona fide campus phenomenon. Aussie! Aussie! I guess I didn't really know when I first came over how sort of much the campus and the school and the town of Moraga had embraced it, but it's pretty special. Uh, it definitely makes you feel at home. It's pretty much crazy, you know what I mean? Like you just think like, wow, I'm, I'm an American, I'm hearing this. No question, the union of St. Mary's and its Aussies has been a marriage made in hoops heaven. But we all know the key to any good relationship is communication. And there have been some issues. You can tell with some of the new guys, they say certain words and guys are kind of looking at them like, uh, I don't know what you just said. Mostly cursing. <laughs> I lived with Jordy Pace for the first year I got here, and for a month and a half straight, almost two months, I could not understand one word he said. At the very start, yeah, it was it was kind of hard because like I'd I'd go trying to order food or something that no one would really understand. I think a big one is the uh, whole tomato sauce ketchup deal. <laughs> Last road trip, we had a big fight about that. They refuse to call it ketchup ketchup; they call it tomato sauce. I'm now saying ketchup, you know, pretty much because there's no point in saying tomato sauce anymore. We've kind of adapted to it, and they've also adapted to us and the language barrier is starting to decrease a little now, yeah. So you can take the kid out of the country, but can you take the country out of the kid? Now that the boys have been stateside for a couple of years, just how Americanized have they become? If I was to offer you peanut butter or Vegemite, what would you choose? <laughs> Silly question. Not Vegemite, no doubt. Vegemite for sure. Great food, delicious. I don't like Vegemite, so peanut butter. <laughs> Frisbee? Boomerang. I like playing frisbee back in Australia. Definitely frisbee is just easier. Boomerang's a bit hard to catch. Can you throw a boomerang? Not accurately, that's the thing, it can go anywhere. Hopefully it ends up around here somewhere. I guess it came back. American football? Aussie, Aussie rules. rules football. Yes, yes. I didn't even get to finish the question. <laughs> no way. Aussie rules, I love Aussie rules. I'm still working my way to understanding American football. I still don't even know half the rules to American football. <laughs> that play is not reviewable, however. Forward progress is not a of the play. Rocky or Crocodile Dundee? They're both good. I really like both of them. I'm more of a Rocky guy. Adrian! Crocodile Dundee, for sure. Crocodile Dundee, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Just kids having fun. How about Budweiser or Fosters? Budweiser for me. I think I'd have to go against the Fosters here. It's not the best tasting stuff. None. Honestly, none. I don't like any of those beers at all. I'm not a beer drinker, so <laughs> under the age over here. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie!